Hey everybody, it's CartFab here, and today we're going to go over the materials you need to build your own go-kart from scratch. We're going to go over the tools you need, the go-kart parts kit you need, the frame materials, as well as all the hardware to bolt it all together. So let's check it out. All right, so when you're building a go-kart, you need a workbench or a flat space to work on. I made this out of wood, and you'll see why in a later video but all you need is a flat space. There are three power tools that you're going to need to build a go-kart. We're gonna take a look at all three right here, starting with the angle grinder. So basically there's a few attachments that you're going to need to put on your angle grinder. The first is a thin wheel, the other one's thicker. This thin wheel is called a metal cutoff wheel. You're gonna need about three to five metal cutoff wheels to cut your steel, and this thick one is called a grinding disc that's used to bevel the edges and remove burrs. You're just going to need one of those. The next thing you're going to need is a wire wheel or a wire cup. Uh, you just need one of those, and that's what I use to remove the rust from the, the frame uh, prior to painting the frame. And then, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it there. And then the last thing we're going to look at is the flapper disc or a sanding disc. This is what I use to finish the grinding of the frame bumper uh, after I ground down some of the welds to make it look good. So yeah, that's it for the angle grinder. The second is obviously a welder. There are three different types of welding. There are MIG, stick, and TIG. This first one is MIG, I would recommend it. The second one here is stick welding. It's old school. You know what, if you've got one, you can use that as well. Any method works. And then finally, TIG welding. TIG welding is very hard to do if you're just starting out, so I would recommend not doing that. So stick with the MIG welder. I've got a link in the description for a nice cheap one if you need to get one. You're also going to need a drill and some drill bits. The drill will be used to drill holes for the throttle and brake pedal, as well as a few holes in the brackets that you're gonna put on the go-kart. This is optional, but you don't need this. It's a abrasive chop saw. It's really nice to have, but not necessary. Next up is measuring tools. This is a level. You use it to make sure your go-kart is level. You also need a tape measure. I use a razor blade, but you can use a marker or whatever you need to to mark the steel. Uh, then right here is a protractor. I'm using that to measure some of my angles that are not 90 or 45. And then I'm using a combination level that, that will measure a 90 or a 45 degree angle. So you can either use a protractor or a combination level. Also, it's nice to have a C-clamp angle finder. This is super cheap. I got it for like two bucks at Harbor Freight. And then uh, some nails and a hammer. This will brace the stuff that you weld together onto your table. That's why I used wood. Next up is the go-kart parts kit. This is what I got from Go Power Sports and I provided a link in the description to this exact kit. So if you got the plans and you're ready to build, this is the kit that you need to get. So check it out. So I'm gonna look at each part in detail. The first one is the drive wheel you assemble the sprocket and brake drum on it to, to form the drive wheel assembly. Next is the bench seat or two seat with the uh, seat sliders or seat adjusters. So combined they let you have a short or tall rider. Then we have the remaining three wheels uh, with the tires and, and bearings. They go right on the go-kart and we have the centrifugal clutch, sprocket, and chain, and when they're all installed, that's what propels the go-kart forward when you step on the gas. You need to stop so you have a brake band and a brake drum, and when you step on the brakes, it squeezes on the drum and lets you stop. We also have the motor mount that lets you put chain tension on the chain. Then we have uh, tie rods, brake and gas pedals with return springs, as well as the spindles and spindle brackets that weld right onto the frame. Then we also have a little kill switch. So you need to turn the go-kart off, you just flip that switch. Then we have a throttle cable for your go-kart that allows you to remotely operate the throttle from the throttle pedal. And a steering wheel, you know, obviously, because you need to steer your go-kart. So that pretty much concludes the entire go-kart parts kit that I got from Go Power Sports.
Now this kit does not come with the steel nor the hardware. I'll show you that next. However, you have the option of getting an engine with it. It's a three quarter inch straight shaft, horizontal shaft engine, 6.5 horsepower engine. Again, the links in the description for the kit and the engine. All right, so the steel you need for your go-kart build can be found in any steel yard by looking for steel distributors near me on Google. So the dimensions are all in the plans, but here's the basic materials you need. Uh, square tubing for the frame, one inch by one inch by 11 gauge. For the rest of the, the frame, you're gonna need uh, sheet metal, that's 16 gauge sheet metal for the floor pan. And for the remainder, there's some steel plate, which is 3 16th inch thick. Uh, you can look in the plans for all the dimensions. Uh, I'm not gonna list them out here, but they're in the description below for the, for the free plans. The next little bit is 3 8 inch round bar used for the footrest, as well as the retaining stud for the brake band, as well as the throttle stop and the brake stop. This limits the travel of the brake and the throttle so it doesn't go too far forward or too far back. I also have some 3 quarter inch by 11 gauge uh, tubing that is used for the steering column or the steering shaft. Uh, I also have some 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 eighth inch uh, angle iron for the steering stops. And finally I have quarter inch round bar for the brake rod. And finally we have hardware. The hardware I purchased separately. Uh, I got it at Tractor Supply. You can get it at any hardware store. So nuts, bolts, washers, spacers, and a cotter pin or two. Um, again, that's all in the plan. So in summary, we went over the power tools, materials to measure, go-kart parts kit, steel, and hardware, all of which are the materials you need to build your own go-kart from scratch. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or comment below. If you don't already know, I have a website, carfab.com. That's where you can download the plans and get started on building your own go-kart from scratch. I also have a few videos out. The previous video is go-kart plans. The one we just went over is go-kart materials. I also wrote an article on that, and that's in this description here. And then the next one coming right up will be various ways to cut steel so you can get your steel ready right before you go ahead and weld. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.